I'm pretty optimistic about European tech. If you look at it more over a longer term period, obviously 2021 was a, a boom year for technology in Europe, but also globally. Uh, but if you look at it over a longer period of time, I think there's a lot of reasons to be optimistic for tech in general, but also and specifically European tech. And we look at a few statistics to support that. We look at leading indicators and lagging indicators. So you look at the leading indicators, the amount of funding that's gone into to European tech is up 6x from six times from where it was in 2015. 2022, that was 100 billion, down from 21, but still a very big number. And if you look at the more lagging indicators around um, the number of unicorns formed, um, if you went back to this conference the first time, I think you might have been here at the conference, one of our first ones, 2016, we had 20 unicorns in all of Europe. We now have over 200. So you think about 10x the number of unicorns, and that's really the the, the, the indicators we look at to be supportive and excited about European tech. Uh, and what areas specifically are you seeing the funding go to at this point? Because there's obviously been huge hype over the last few months around AI, given chat GPT and some of the waves that's made uh, around the world. Um, is, is AI really where you're seeing most of the funding going at this point uh, and sort of less into some of those perhaps less profitable or, or, or more difficult unit economic consumer companies? Yeah, I mean, we're not... We're not sure what the unit economics of AI are going to be yet, but um, I do think there is a lot of um, excitement around AI. If you talk to people in technology, venture capitalists, they really see AI as the next platform shift. So PC, web, mobile, cloud, and now potentially AI as the, as the next platform shift. And so um, venture capitalists are spending a lot of time to understand the various technologies and spending and putting a lot of capital into the sector. We have a uh, today, uh, this conference, our whole second day is basically around quantum and AI, and, and we see that as a big, a big trend for technology. And in terms of the IPO markets, they've been tough for, for technology companies. Uh, here in Europe, uh, there are a number of large companies waiting to go public, um, Klarna and others as well. Um, what are you expecting for, for the IPO pipeline this year? Uh, is it looking strong, or is the market still effectively shut given the, the uncertain economic environment? So I'm going to give you an answer, which is kind of a two-week-ago answer in terms of before we've gone, before this last couple of weeks of um, bank situation. And if I gave you the answer two weeks ago, I would have told you I was hopeful that on a global basis, we will see tech IPO activity in 2023. I think Europe will lag a little bit from where the U.S. is. Uh, I think the U.S. will go earlier. Companies are more ready. They're bigger. They can access the markets um, sooner. Uh, but I'm still hopeful that we'll see tech I IPO activity in 2023. And if we don't, I, I think 2024 will be a big year for tech IPOs. I think what we'll see is the more established, profitable companies come first. So the easier to understand business models, profitable companies, before we see the really um, highly valued, uh, you know, low, low profit or negative profit companies that we saw in, in 2021.